hello hello you guys welcome to another video we are kicking off another vlog and i'm about to go for a little walk on my treadmill but first i wanted to give you guys an apartment update i know you guys wanted to know what's going on with this mirror situation what am i doing with this bare wall and i don't know i tried a few things that did not work but i'll go ahead and show you around and tell you what I did. So first things first, many people told me that I should angle the mirror so that it was at like a catty corner against the wall. I told you guys I tried this initially. I didn't like it because I felt like it pushed into the living room too much and it took up a lot of room, but I listened. I put the mirror at an angle. So that's what that currently looks like. And whatever, I like the living room. I moved the stool over here as you can see with the vase of flowers and i think that looks good then for the wall next to my refrigerator that now had nothing on it i told you guys i wanted to do wallpaper so initially i thought i'd find something that would arrive quickly i looked on amazon to see like if i liked any of the ones that they had there and i found this one for some reason when i saw it online i thought it was going to be like olive green which goes with my decor um, and I wanted something that could add a little color, a little texture, but not too much. Um, and I found this one and it's basically like a floral leafy design, which I like. But then I realized when I pulled it out of the packaging that it's more of like a brown color. And brown is just too dark and I didn't want anything too dark because already I'm working with a tight space. I didn't want it to make the apartment feel any smaller. so. I think I'm gonna return this one, unfortunately. And since I realized that I didn't like this, I went scouring the internet, searching and searching for wallpapers that I liked, and I just have not found any. Or the ones that I do like are like $100 for a tiny roll, just way overpriced for the quantity that you get. And I feel like I'm nervous about damaging the walls here. I just don't know that that's the best route because even if you get peel and stick wallpaper i've heard horror stories about people like peeling it up and it taking the paint off so i just don't want to have to deal with that mess um i'm still not completely counting it out i would just want to find like a reputable brand or company that i know is like good and that i like the print so Anyway, I'll show you what I've done in the meantime because I did not like seeing this wall bare. So here we go. I ended up taking the mirror that was initially in my entryway and moving it right here. And I love the way it looks. I thought I wasn't able to mount anything on this wall because I tried before up here and that part was metal plated. For some reason, there was like no way to get past a certain point there. But I think the lower you get or the more centered you get, there is a way. For some reason, I was able to mount this. So I was very happy with that. And I really like how it looks here. And when you're looking at it from this angle, before this tall mirror in the back used to come out and like protrude out. And now this is just so sleek. It really doesn't take up any walkway space so i love that about it and then i like having a mirror across from the art that's here as you remember that mirror used to be over here this artwork is not it <laughs> i hate it so much now i did it like really quickly when i first moved in just to hang something to cover this but i ended up taking it off and whatever right now i just have it there because i don't know where to put it i might just throw it out but i used to have the mirror here so now I'm trying to figure out what to do with this area because obviously the mirror is not here. This art is not going to stay. Um, but yeah, really loving this and how everything turned out here. And then I was thinking if I don't end up doing wallpaper on this wall, I could maybe wallpaper this entryway space. It's hard to show you, but it would be like this wall from top to about where the dresser starts. So I'm considering that. I have a few options, not counting anything out, but like I said, if I do go the wallpaper route, it has to be something that I really love. So if you guys have suggestions, send me those. I was looking into like Spoonflower. There are some brands that 
seem like they're good, but I don't know. Getting my sneakers on. It's time to get these steps in. All right, you guys finished my walk not too long ago and i was like contemplating while walking what to do with this apartment because i just feel like it's getting cluttered and i'm just accruing more and more things and i don't want it to build up and become excessive and i just want my space to feel really neat really organized tidy and clean so i randomly decided that i was gonna go on like an organizational binge basically and go through like every one of my drawers take every single piece out think about whether or not i need it and if not set it aside for donations or to you know toss if it's not good but i'm ready to purge um so we're gonna do that together we're gonna start probably in my room i'm thinking i think it's easy enough to just go through all the dressers all the wardrobes and closets and see about clothing first because I have so 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 many clothes so that's what we're gonna do and I hope you guys are in for the ride because I know this is gonna take several hours if not days let's just go ahead and get started because I know I'm in for a long day ahead all right I changed my mind decided to start with the closet because it's all already kind of laid out for me but it is very crowded in here I can hardly like open to see what i have and i also just need to fit other things in here and like i have way too many blazers way too many hoodies so i figured that's something that i can kind of reduce and declutter easily so let's start with the blazers i don't wear them that much to be needing all of these Okay, here are all the blazers I pulled out. I don't know if you can tell just how many there are, but I think this is excessive. The thing is, I kind of like all of these. So I have two leather blazers. I probably could do with just one, but I kind of like them both. So I might keep these for now. Um, this linen blazer is a must for summer. Definitely keeping that. This one I feel like I could do without. I think this one is the one I'm going to set to the side. Maybe put it on Poshmark or something. Here's another linen blazer that I think I might also move to the side. Black. Everyone needs a classic black. getting rid of three which is a good amount and these are all good quality so I think I'll list them on Poshmark hopefully sell them and let's move on to hoodies for hoodies I decided I'm keeping these and getting rid of these so I'm getting rid of four baby steps people we can't get rid of everything in one day so I'm doing my best to think about what I actually need and what I don't. Do you believe my closet is still this full after I've pulled out all of my hoodies and blazers? It's a lot of stuff, but I've condensed it the best that I can at the moment. And now I just want to color code everything and then we'll be done with this closet. <music> here is what we ended up with i'm very proud of this i feel like i tried to go with neutrals 
up until the middle and then we have a little color here sprinkled in uh which is not much but that looks good i still have the bottom to do which has like all my pants jeans skirts all that stuff but i want to go ahead and list some things on poshmark so i'll show you how i set that up first i'm just going to close this door and then i grab whatever article of clothing it is that i'm trying to sell um, I'll leave it on the hanger just so that I can display it properly. Sometimes I'll even like steam or iron the clothing, but I don't know if I'm trying to do that now. So let me not do this one because that one needs to be ironed. Let's do this one. This is a brand new dress um, from H&M. Still has the tags on it. So I'll leave it on the hanger and I'll just snap a few pictures of the dress. I don't usually try things on, but if I have a photo in the item, I'll try to include that as well so they can see how it fits. And yeah, I take a picture of the tag, of the article, of clothing, and that's pretty much it. gone ahead and started folding a few things and now I'm going to start making piles for myself with things that are for selling, things that are going to be for donations and things that I guess are to keep or um, that maybe aren't good enough so I might just like recycle them. <music> managed to get a bunch of stuff folded and I still have these jeans that I want to try on before I get rid of them if I am going to get rid of them so I'm going to try them on I might try these on too they're from Abercrombie I honestly haven't had some of these jeans for very long but they either don't fit me anymore or they're just not my style like some of them have rips in them and I just really don't like ripped jeans anymore so those will be going but I definitely want to try these two jeans on at least and just see how they fit and see if I can still get some use out of them I'm actually not mad at these they have the like asymmetric hem going on and then I like the fit like I like that they're a little bit wide on the bottom I just don't like these rips. They're not as major as like the knee rips, but they definitely have some, you know, distressed detailing, especially on the bottom as well. And it's on the back too, as you can see. So I don't know about them. The second pair, these are from Abercrombie. The last pair was from like Forever 21, something super old. And these also have that same like asymmetric hem at the top, but they're more of like a straight leg. Um, I'm not a fan. I don't like the wash. I don't really love how they look on me. I'm gonna just sell these. Hello you guys. It is a new day. I honestly spent hours yesterday getting my room sorted and going through all of my clothing and it was a lot but I decided to call it a night and then I would tackle the rest of the apartment today with fresh eyes. But I wanted to go ahead and show you all that I got done yesterday. I feel pretty accomplished so far and can't wait to keep up the momentum. I did manage to get through the bottom half of my closet plus this dresser over here and my wardrobe. And here is the result of that. This is everything that I'm getting rid of either donating or selling. So for now, I just have it all folded up on my bench, but I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get it all out of the apartment and also where to store it until then. But now it's time to move on to the living room. For the living room, I mainly wanna go through all of my cabinets, like this one above my fridge and then also the TV stand because I have a lot of random things in there that I've just kind of collected over time that I could either sort through, get rid of, don't need. I don't know, I just don't want to have the junk here anymore. I'm trying to not become a hoarder, get rid of those tendencies. 
So we're gonna just pull everything out and go through it. I wanna use that method of like, you touch every single item and see if it holds value or if you need it. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Hopefully this doesn't take as long as yesterday did, but if it does, so be it, we gotta get it done. This is the current status of my apartment. I'm literally pulling everything out of every drawer, cabinet, everywhere, and going through it, throwing things away. It is intense, but we're getting things done. A little while later, we are making some progress. We have a garbage bag here that's pretty full, and things are kind of calming down in here, but I still have a long ways to go. All right, you guys, I'm very happy with where we are now. These are a bunch of books that I'm donating, and then I have a few art prints here that I'm gonna try to sell, but everything else is clean, which is great news. Here is the finished TV stand. It could still be better, but for now, I'm pretty happy with it. Behind this jewelry box, I have even more books, which you can't see, but then I have some down there as well, and just a few pairs of shoes and other accessories and things. But that is pretty organized, so I'm pleased with that. And then I'll show you and then above my fridge, I also managed to put all the bins that I used to have in my TV stand with just like board games, random knickknacks and stuff up on the top. Then I have my like kitchen essentials towards the bottom here, along with other random bits and bobs. But this also feels a lot less chaotic, so I'm pretty pleased with myself. I'm honestly wiped. I need to make myself some dinner, so I think I'm gonna close off the vlog here, but I'm feeling so much better about the state of my apartment right now. I just felt like a heavy weight of everything that I knew that had to get done. And organizing just makes me feel so much better. I'm very happy that I got it all done. And hopefully this motivated you guys to get started on your homes as well, cleaning, organizing, whatever it is that you have to do. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you soon with another video. Bye.